Things aren't that simple. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I know the scenery is a little bit different, but we'll talk about that in another video. Today is going to be an install video for doing the seat inserts in the GSF. All right, I've never seen anybody do this on any videos or any how-tos. These are the seat inserts I was talking about. I have the carbon fiber seat inserts, so I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I should do with the mesh or no mesh. I'm thinking no mesh. Uh, only because the OEM seats, they all already have mesh in them. So I think I'm gonna do without mesh. All right, let's hop to it. Okay, so like I said, there is a little wiggle room. I guess I'm supposed to push this back at the same time I'm pulling this forward. Uh, let me see. All right, so all I did was just pull, I pulled it forward. That's all I did. Uh, and I used one hand. So let me try this one with one hand. Just pull it forward. Hopefully that works. Oh, even if I break it, I don't care. Cause I don't, I'm not gonna be reusing these. See? Uh, did not break the tabs. Tabs are still on. So it should just pull right out. Yeah, just like that. No tabs broken. And it just came right out. All right, let's do the other side. Cool, this is like the other side, just pull out. Yeah, no tabs broken. No tabs broken. All right, let's put the carbon fiber ones in. I was trying to put them in like that because they look better like that in my opinion, but they go like that. So, all right, having a little problem with this side. Let's see, there we go, there we go. There we go. Now it just fits right in. All right, now time to put in the front. So I see. If you're gonna do it without the mesh, you gotta color in the insides, cause that's gonna show. All right, I'm gonna take these out and do something with that. So it's the next day. I just went ahead and put the mesh parts back in looked a little too bootleg if I just painted it the, the little white part inside of the insert so I just put him back in I think it'll look good for now I might change it later as I was saying in yesterday's clip um, I feel like it looks better going this way because I was trying to put it in this way but it actually goes in like that so let me put this in here Be right back. all right that one's in uh, it does get caught right here a lot so you gotta raise it up, lower it, and do whatever you need to do. Uh, thankfully, I didn't break anything. All right, now we're doing the front. Let's push it in. I might need to push it from the back. All right, so that, that's good. See, not bad. Push this in. Hold on, I might have to push it in from the All other right, side. See. Wasn't that bad, like I thought it was. And that one's completed. Let's do the other side. All right, driver's side is in. So that is really nice, really nice. And then let me pull it out in the sun so we can see it.
couldn't really get a good angle where the sun is actually in the car, but so far this is all I can get for right now. Goes good with the carbon fiber interior, steering wheel, armrest, shift knob, and now the seat inserts. Next thing I gotta install is the Nia kit v2 rear spoiler for this car looks like a duck bill i don't know if you guys know about the saibon rear trunk that had like a little duck bill uh it kind of resembles that it's just it's not one whole piece it's just a duck bill from the nia kit all right before we go i actually found a spot that actually had some sun so that's the driver's side not really that much sun on this side all right so let's go on the other side little sun right there. 